time to chow down. So Josh started chowing down. He forgot we were supposed to be recording. I had to remind him. I got the fajita platter. It comes with seasoned chicken and it's like a beef barbacoa with beans, rice, onions and peppers, and then tortillas. And then you can go, what? I was just going to say it's a yellow rice. It wasn't always a yellow rice. No, it used to be like a white rice and now it's like a yellow tex mex -er rice, I guess. I don't know. Spanish rice. That's what it looks like. And then I always just get some cheese off the fixing bar. I don't really like a lot of toppings on my fajitas. Just cheese is good for me. All right, so I've got the beef nachos. This isn't something that I typically get. Usually, like Taylor said, we split the fajita platter, but I thought for the sake of it, I'd try something else. I'm going to let Taylor go ahead and actually try the first bite because I'm going to completely change them with lettuce and sour cream and salsa and all kinds of other stuff. Chips are nice and salty. That's something I always look for in my chips when I eat nachos. I like salty chips. And it's got a good white cheese on there. I like that as well. Go ahead, doctor them up. Typically like to eat my nachos like regular nachos. I like to break them up into like a salad. I eat them with a fork. And he's flinging the chips all over the table. Chips are flying everywhere. So uh, the beef nachos basically come with a, with a beef, probably the same beef that's used on the tacos. And then it also comes with like a, a white queso cheese and I've taken that and added salsa from the bar, from the fixings bar and lettuce. They're very good. That salsa is really, really hot. Chips are salty. Um, the beef is good. The cheese is good. I think this is the beef nachos are $12.49 and the fajita platter is 15 bucks. I really believe that you could just buy the fajita platter for two people, split that, and then it's like $7.50 a person. And it usually works out pretty well, I think. I always get a cup of water. Josh thought for some reason he needed a Coke. I've been on this like really bad thing right now with getting Coke to drink. I shouldn't be doing it, but I do. I can't help it. It's just something's going on. Midlife crisis or something at 26. <laughs> hey. So we did not do mobile ordering. We actually went up to the counter because it wasn't very busy, but you can do mobile ordering here at Pecos Bills. And if you didn't know, a new thing is that if you have the dining plan, is that actually released yet? I if, believe it's already started. If you have the dining plan, you can use your quick service for your mobile order. Because yeah. Uh, yeah, with the last Disney update, the mm -hmm. last My Disney Experience update, it was included. Yeah. So now if you have the dining plan, you can use your quick service for your mobile order. Total cost for lunch today. Mind you, we don't typically do this, but we both you got some. Daniel Paso, or discount, you? Oh, I did not. No, I totally like forgot about that. Twenty percent discount with or the ten, annual. Ten or twenty. Ten or twenty. Ten or twenty percent discount with the annual pass. I didn't use that. I totally forgot about it, and they didn't ask. So, shame on me. But for two people, we got the fajita platter and the beef nachos. Fourteen ninety nine. I wanted a sip of Coke. Twelve forty nine, three twenty nine. So the total is like thirty two seventy eight. Typically, this is a place where we would just get the fajita platter and split it, and then it's like fifteen bucks for the two of us. So I think that's a very good deal. And we usually just get water to drink. I don't know what my problem is right now. Getting Coke to drink. I don't know. I got to fix it. But seriously, we've had to stop at McDonald's. We've had to stop at McDonald's a couple times on the way home just to get him a Coke. Yeah. I don't it's know. A problem. It's weird. So this is Pecos Bills. Uh, let us know if you've been here before, how you like it. If you don't, what you would get instead. We are like all about the feed a platter. So. And if anybody has the dining plan and does mobile order and uses the dining plan, let us know how that goes. Yes, because we don't have the dining plan, obviously. A 
couple of quick things that we forgot to mention while we were sitting there eating. Pecos Bills has both inside and outside seating, so you guys saw that we were eating outside. Uh, it's a nice place to sit and eat. You can get a lot of the like atmosphere noises from outside. That was actually the first time uh, we've ever sat outside. It was. There. It was. It was pretty nice. We sat in a nice little corner. Yeah, and typically we sit inside. It's it's usually not lit very well inside. It's very dark. Yeah, it's a little louder inside, but I mean, it's a counter service and it's a huge seating area. It is. So. Yeah, so I mean, if it's raining outside, uh, be aware that there's like plenty, there's usually plenty of seating inside. They even have like a little upstairs area that yeah, you can go do. to. They do have the Fixins bar, which has like <laughs> cheese, guacamole, sour cream, salsa, all those types of things. Uh, it's really great to add to your like fajitas or your nachos or whatever you want to get. Um, and it's included with whatever food you get too. Yeah. So.